As the president's motorcade was leaving the Westin Hotel in downtown Seattle, a small group was gathering around Air Force One. They were 22 youngsters from Washington State, part of a group called Young Storytellers for Peace. We're going to go to the Soviet Union this spring and we're going to tell stories for peace and just try to communicate with the Russians and make friendships that will last not just for now but for a lifetime. Britt and the others briefly became friends with President Reagan. As the president and Mrs. Reagan got out of their limousine, they stopped and chatted with the youngsters for a couple of minutes. After shaking hands, the president and the first lady walked up the ramp and gave the students a special wave goodbye after what was a special visit for the young ambassadors to be. He said he's very proud of us and that he thinks that we'll make good representatives to the Soviet Union. And we said to him that we thank him for the efforts that he made in Geneva at the summit meetings. And we said, hi, how are you? <laughs> You see him on TV almost every day, but when you see him in person, it's, it's really like a one in a million experience. It's really exciting. I was nervous. It was really he, exciting. he looks like he can really communicate. It was really neat. Now it's back to the books for these students who are studying diplomacy, storytelling, and a little Russian for their trip to the Soviet Union early next year. At Boeing Field, David Curley, Cairo Eyewitness News.